Hello, and welcome to the Washington State DNR Geology and Earth Resources 3D PDF tutorial. To begin, start from the Subsurface Geology and Geophysics webpage on the dnr.wa.gov website. Click Sultan, located at the bottom of the page. This will open the Sultan PDF in your web browser window. Right click and save it to your local drive. This will provide improved performance over viewing the model in your browser. Open the PDF. This may take a while depending on the speed of your computer, so please be patient. The right side of the PDF window has instructions for navigation and tool use, as well as an object data pane discussed later. Notice the toolbar above the visualization with navigational controls on the left, model tree in the center, and rendering, lighting, and cross-section tools to the right. Pre-selected views are shown in the drop-down, with the visualization defaulting to Map View. Should you ever become lost or disoriented in the visualization, you can use these to reorient yourself. If the lighting is not to your satisfaction, you can adjust the lighting style by using the lighting drop-down on the toolbar. Typically bright lights and CAD optimized work best. Use your mouse to move the visualization. You can rotate, zoom, and pan the visualization to get the viewing angle you desire. Additional tool windows are found at the bottom of the PDF page. In the layer window, Several parts are visible, including the geologic map, boreholes, cross-sections, and geologic units. Any of these parts can be turned off by deselecting the check mark next to the corresponding label. Transparency can be applied to selected parts to show objects behind or beneath. Enter any number between 0 and 1 in the Opacity option to apply the transparency. The Probe tool can be used to retrieve coordinate and elevation values for an object in addition to measuring line distance, angles, azimuths, and grades. The Z Scale tool allows you to dynamically change the vertical scale of the model. Simply type in any positive number in the box to change the vertical scale. This is particularly helpful for viewing areas with slight topographic changes or regional models with large XY extents. If you wish to know more about a feature on the map, cross sections, or boreholes, click to highlight it. You will notice that the object data pane now displays data provided for that object such as unit symbol, name, age, and description. To deselect the highlighted object, simply click in the white area outside the model. Object data will continue to be displayed until a new object is selected. User-defined cross-sections can be created using the cross-section tool. To manipulate the cross-section, select the cross-section properties tab, which will open up a control window. Here you can adjust the location, direction, and tilt of the cross-section. User-defined views can be saved by clicking on the model tree in the upper toolbar, then Create View in the Views window. Additional geologic information can be found on page 2 of the model, which has the plate provided in the original map publication. This was a brief demonstration of the various tools available to view and interact with geologic 3D PDFs. I invite you to try these tools and to learn and explore the geologic landscape of Washington. This concludes the Washington State DNR Geology and Earth Resources 3D PDF tutorial.